Hey guys! Today, I'm going to be doing a comprehensive tech comparison between the two most popular 64s. That's right! I'm going to be putting together, head to head, the Commodore 64 and the Nintendo 64 in an all-out fight. To answer the question the retro tech community has had for years, which one's the better 64? It's not a real fight if nobody gets hurt, so when one loses a round out of the nine rounds, they will get a blow from this blunt object. And whoever loses the most rounds out of the nine rounds, well, let's just say they definitely won't be mint enough to end up in some nerd's retro tech collection. Let's get started! Round 1. Newness. When something is newer, it's better. The Commodore 64 came out in 1982, but the Nintendo 64 came out in 1996. This round goes to the Nintendo 64. <laughs> round 2. Retroness. When something is older, it is considered more retro. The Nintendo 64 is 23 years old, but the Commodore 64 is 37 years old. This round goes to the Commodore 64. <laughs> round 3. Size. Size does matter. Bigger is better. The Nintendo 64 is 9.5 inches long, but the Commodore 64 is 16 inches long. This round goes to the Commodore 64. <laughs> round 4. Buttons. More buttons means you can do more. The Nintendo 64 only has one button, but the Commodore 64 has an impressive amount of 66 buttons. This round goes to the Commodore 64 again. Round 5. Controller Ports. When you have more controller ports, you can have more friends over. At least that's what I've been hearing from other people. The Commodore 64 has two controller ports, but the Nintendo 64 has four. This round goes to the Nintendo 64. <laughs> round 6. Price. Whichever one my local Goodwill charged more for, means that it's worth more. The Commodore 64 was $19.99, but the Nintendo 64 was $29.99. That round goes to the Nintendo 64. <laughs> round 7. Logo. A logo that has more colors is prettier. The Nintendo 64 logo has four colors, but the Commodore 64 logo has five colors. That round goes to the Commodore 64. <laughs> round 8. Name. A shorter name helps people remember that name better. Commodore 64 has 11 letters, but Nintendo 64 has 10 letters. This round goes to the Nintendo 64. And the final round, round 9, waterproofing. Which one is more waterproof? And that concludes the comprehensive tech comparison between these two classic 64s. Let's add up the points to see who won. Oh, looks like it's a draw. But I have a solution. You guys vote on which is the better 64, and tell me why in the comments. I don't know what the results of the poll will be, so at this moment, they both lose.
I hope you guys found this comparison very helpful and informative. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with more vintage tech destruction. Stop complaining! I'm making the obsolete junk in your house more rare, therefore worth more. Ugh, you're welcome. Bye!